Assalamualaikum and hi students. So to begin with, this first video will be about the first chapter which is function of several variables. So basically the first two LOs will be covered in this first video. For the introduction, before this, you know what is a function with single variable. So for example, you have fx equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 2 plus exponent minus x. Okay, so this is example for a function with single variable, a single variable function. Or you might have f t equal to 2 cos 2 pi t minus 3 sine pi t plus 3 exponent minus 3 t. So this is, these two example is for functions with single variable. Now we will look at, in this chapter we will look at f x y. This is function with two variables or you might have f x y z. This is for function with three variables. Subtopic 1.1 function of two or more variables. Okay, first we consider the functions of two variables. Okay, a rule that assigns a real number f x y. We have two variable here x and variable y to each ordered pair of real numbers x y in the domain of the function. For instance, okay, for example, an area of a rectangular. Okay, f x y is equal to x y where x is the length and y is the width. So that's why we have a function with two variables. We have variable for length and width. Okay, let's see the definition 1.1. Suppose D is a set of order pairs of real numbers x and y. A function with two variables x and y denotes as z equal to f x y. The set D is the function's domain. Okay, so this is the definition for domain. The set of z values that associate with the numbers in the, in in these functions is the range. Okay, so basically domain is the the value of x that makes this function defined. Okay, so there will be a uh, three restriction for three cases for the domain to determine the domain. And then for the range, the range is the z value after you substitute all the possible domains. Now, let's see two examples. Okay, so the first example is for f x y function of two variable x and y, you have x square plus square root of y. Find f negative 2, 9, f half 0, the domains and the range of this function f okay so what does it mean by finding f minus 2 9 okay so this means you substitute x equal to negative 2 and y equal to 9 into f x y here so for first for f negative 2 9 this is equal to you have negative 2 square plus square root of 9. So use your calculator. You have negative 2 square. You have positive 4 plus square root of 3 is square, sorry, square root of 9 is 3. So for this you have 7. Right? Next move to f half 0. For f half 0 substitute x with half square plus square root of 0. So, square of half is equal to 1 over 4 where n square root of 0 is equal to 0. So, for this one, you have 1 over 4. Right? Okay, next, for the domain. Okay, so for the domain, let what I say, like what I said before, the domain is the value for x and y okay 
the domain is referred to the, our variable x and y. So for this case, you have x square plus square root of y. For x square, we don't have any restriction. But for square root y, okay, for square root y, you see, for example, if you have square root of 4, square root of 4 is equal to 2. Okay, Squ what if I have to find square root of 0? Square root of 0 is equal to 0. But if you find the square root of negative 4, this is equal to a complex number. This is, this will be 2i. Okay, so for a complex number, it makes the function undefined. So the first restriction is if you have a square root of a, the a must not equal to negative number. But it can be a positive number. So this is the restriction. Okay, so writing the domain d d for domain d f f is our function if you have this g f g x y so this will be g, d g so for d f d f is equal to okay so we will consider the value of x y right so write x and y okay so x y will be any real number r but you need to con you need to uh, include the restriction okay for this one we have a, the restriction for y so our y here should be always positive no restriction for x so we just put y restriction for y okay so this is the domain and then solve for the range of f since for the range we consider the value of f x y when you substitute all the value of all the possible value of x y okay what happened to the f x y here okay when you substitute 0 1 2 3 negative 2 negative 3 plus with this one okay so here since this is always positive Right? This is always positive because you have negative 2 square, it, you will have 4 here. And then this one, since you just consider y, positive number, so this will give you positive value. So, so since here you have positive value plus positive value, so your range will always be a positive number. So this is how you write the range. Okay? For the second example, you have this f x y this two variable function x and y equal to x ln y plus x square find f 1 1 when you substitute x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 f 2 exponent domain and then you need to find the domain and the range for f okay for this one let's start with finding f 1 1 so f11 substitute your x and y you will have here 1 ln 1 plus 1 square. So 1 ln 1 when you use substitution, sorry, when you use calculator, you will have this equal to 0. Plus 1 square is equal to 1, so this is 1. Okay, next f2 exponent. Exponent here means exponent 1. Okay. So, you have here 2 ln exponent 1 plus 2 square. So, 2 ex ln with exponent 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Ln multiplied by ln exponent is equal to 1. So, you have 1 multiplied by 2. You have 2 here plus 4. So, this will give you 6. Right. Okay, next for the domain, domain F. Okay, we want to find what is the restriction, what is the value for X and Y. So, X and Y, first we, you start with X and Y can be any real number. Then, 
comma, then put your restriction. Okay, there is no restriction for x square. You can put, you can have any number of x, any value for x. But then, there is a restriction for ln y. Okay. So, when you try to find ln 1, so ln 1, when you use calculator, you find this is equal to 0. So, there is a value. But, if you try to find ln 0, using the calculator, okay, let's say, you have ln 0, you got math error. So, this means you have undefined value for ln 0. Okay? Next, what if you have negative value? Ln negative 1. Okay? Let's see, ln negative 1. Also, a negative, a math error. So, you have undefined value. So, what can you conclude here? So, for ln A, there is a restriction for ln A where A should be always greater than 0. It cannot be equal to 0 or less than 0. Okay? So, another restriction here you need to put is Y should be always more than zero. More than zero doesn't include the zero. Okay, positive value. Okay, next, last, we have to find the range. For the range, okay, to find what is the value for f x y. So for this one, when you substitute ln y, x ln y, you have any real number. Okay, and then this one is positive number. This one you can have a negative value here. And then for this one you can have positive value. Okay, so for f, x, 1, we will have any real number. All numbers can be our range. Okay, move to graphing of two variables. For two variable functions, graph gives a surface where its domains is in x y plane okay so since this is two variable function so we have x y planes the function value z equal to f x y is the distance from x y plane to z axis okay so imagine the 3d graph okay the two steps in sketching the graph of f x y x f x y First step is to draw the level curve in the domain x, y where f has a constant value. Then the last step is to sketch the surface z equal to f, x, y in space. Okay, so before we move to the example, let's see what is the definition of level curve, contour curve and surface. Okay, for definition 1.2, the set of points in the plane z equal to f x y equal to k where k are constants is called the level curve so basically k is our level curve the set of level curve from here the set of level curve is called contour curve and last the surface z equal to f x y is the set of all points x y z f x y is our z okay in space now, let's see one example out of two examples we have here. So, the first example, a function z equal to fxy is defined as z equal to fxy equal to 4 minus x square minus y square with domain, you can see domain here, x square plus y square less or equal to 4. Show the level curve at k equal to 0, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, and k equal to 3. Then sketch the graph of z equal to fxy. So first, you need to show the level curve. Okay, so before this, we know that the level curve is equal to z equal to fxy equal to k. So k is our level curve. So k here, substitute the value. So this is z fxy. So, it's equal to 4 minus x square minus y square equal to k. Okay. So, this can be written as 
x square plus y square equal to 4 minus k. Mm -hmm. And then, substitute the value of k. For, so, since we have k equal to 0, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, and k equal to 3. So, let's see the level curve of this, the level curve of this k. So, when you substitute k equal to 0 here, you have x square plus y square equal to 4. This is x square plus y square equal to 3. 4 minus 1. Next, x square plus y square equal to 2. And last, when k equal to 3, we have x square plus y square equal to 1. So, what you can conclude here? When you have x square plus y square equal to this r. So, basically, this is a general formula for you have x square plus y square equal to r square. This is general formula for a circle with radius r. Okay? So, for this one, you have radius 2, radius square root of 3, radius square root of 2, and radius 1. Okay? So, let's sketch the level curve. Okay, for the level curve, you have the x, y plane. So, let's say this is your x and this is your y. Okay? For x square plus y square equal to 4, so you have a circle with radius 2. So, you, let's say you have here, this is a circle with radius 2. This is minus 2, this is 2, this is minus 2. So, basically, this is your level curve at k equal to 0. Okay, k equal to 0. Okay, next, for k equal to 1, your x square plus y square, your radius is at square root 3. So, sketching, just sketching, okay. So, this is square root 3. And then you have at square root of 2 here, let's say, and this is square root of 1, which is equal to 1. So, this is level curve for k equal to 1, this one for k equal to 2, and the, the inner one is for k equal to 3. Okay, so this is your contour curve on x, y, plane. Okay? Okay, so you just show the level curve at k equal to 0, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, and k equal to 3. Next, what you need to do is to sketch the graph of z equal to f, x, y. Okay, to sketch the graph of z equal to f, x, y, you need another two graph, okay, which is on z y plane and another one in z x x plane so then you can uh, combine these three plane x y plane z x y plane and z x plane so before this okay so your z x equal to f x y equal to 4 minus x square minus y square okay for z y plane you need to consider when x equal to 0. So, just substitute x equal to 0 here. So, you have 4 minus y square equal to z. Okay? And then, this one is for z x, z x plane. So, when y equal to 0, your z is equal to 4 minus x square. So, you have z equal to 4 minus y square and z equal to 4 minus x square. So, basically, this is a parabola on the z y plane. Why? This one is the parabola on the z x plane. Okay. So, for this one, z equal to 4 minus y square. So, it's a set face. Okay? And then, you have intersection at 4. So, this is 4 
this is 4. So basically this is the curve for z equal to 4 minus y square. And for z x plane, you have this 4 intersection at 4, intersection at 4. So this is z 4 minus x square. So for sketching the z f x y, so we have the 3D. Okay. You have this is your x as is, your z as is, and your y as is. Okay. So first draw the z y plane. Okay. So for z y plane, you have this one. Right. So you have this is 4 here. You have another 4 here. And then for z x plane, you have this one. I'm sorry, this curve. Sorry. It's not perfect, sorry. Okay, so this is 4. Okay, and then consider the x, y plane. Okay, so for x, y plane, you have this one. Okay, this one, you have how many? Z, you have how many level curve? Okay, 4, is it? Okay. Okay, so basically this is 4, z equal to 3, z equal to 2 and z equal to 1 plus z equal to 0 so this graph is the surface of z equal to f x y on x y z plane okay for the second example, we have to sketch the contour curve, okay, the contour curve and the surface at k equal to 0, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, okay, for the function fxy equal to square root of x square plus y square, okay. So, for the contour curve, okay, z is equal to fxy equal to k. Then substitute this, you have x square plus y square equal to k. Okay. So this is x square plus y square equal to k square. When you move this square root to the right hand side. Okay. So you have this, uh, the formula for circle with radius k. So you have k equal to 0, k equal to 1, and k equal to 2. For k equal to 0, you have x square plus y square equal to 0. x square plus y square equal to 1 for k equal to 1. And then we have x square equal to plus y square equal to 4. 2 square is 4. So we have these three circles. Okay. So, you can write, you can sketch your y x plane here hmm, for the contour curve, okay, for the level curve. So, for y x, we have first circle at radius 0 here and then second you have at radius 1, we have 1 here. And then you have a circle at radius 2 here. So label this. This is k for k equal to 2 y. While this one is for k equal to 1. So what is this? What is this? This is the contour curve on x, y plane. Okay. So move to the surface to find the surface you need to have these two plane z y and z x plane okay, for this one okay we have z equal to square root x square plus y square okay Consider when x equal to 0 for this z, y plane. So when x equal to 0, 
the z become square root of y square okay so this is zero so square root of y square is y so you have z equal to y here okay so graph for z equal to y is this one this is z equal to y then for z i explain and y equal to zero z becomes square root of x square and this is z equal to x the graph the line for z equal to x is this okay so combine combining these three plane x y plane z y plane and z x plane okay you, you will come up with this three d you have here x y and z okay for z x plane you have this line z y plane you have this line and then for x y plane you have these two circles okay so you have this circle and this one on the x y plane so basically this is for z equal to 2 and this is for z equal to 1 for z equal to 0 you have this circle at radius 0 for this one this is the surface on x y z plane that's it for second example now we will look at functions of three variables okay a rule that assign a real number f x y z to each other triple of real numbers x y and z so now you have extra variable z in the domain of the function for instance and a volume sorry this is a volume of a cuboid f x y z equal to x y z x is length y is the width and z is the height okay so this is a example for a uh, three variable function okay so for definition 1.3 we have the definition of a, a function with three variables okay where it is a rule that maps the dependent variables x y z to the independent variables w okay the domain is the set of numbers that is mapped to the independent variables and the range consists of the output values for w so basically it's just the same as definition 1.2 but with extra z extra variable z I have two examples here given f x y z equal to y z over x plus 2 find f 0 1 1 0 1 1 f negative 1 1 3 domain and range of this function okay so f 0 1 1 means that your x value is 0, your y value is 1, and your z value is equal to 1. You need to substitute these three values into this f, x, y, z. Okay, so f, 0, 1, 1 will be y is 1, z is 1, divided by x, 0, plus 2. So this is equal to 1 over Next, f for f negative 1, 1, 3, we will have 1 multiplied by 3 divided by minus 1 plus 2. And this is equal to 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. Okay, now, the best part of this, we need to find the domain. Okay, that I said before, for the domain, we consider the value for the independent variable x y and z okay so for x y and z can be any real number and then you need to put the restriction here okay so there is a restriction for fraction okay for fraction to be defined okay y z over x plus 2 so basically the Denominator x plus 2 shouldn't be equal to 
0, never. Means that x cannot be equal to minus 2. Why? Because if you have 1 over 2, this is equal to 0 0.5. If you have 1 over minus 4, this is minus 0 0.25. But if you have 1 over 0, this is totally undefined. That's why. Okay. So for this fraction, the restriction is when you have b over a, the a shouldn't be equal to 0. Okay. So for this one, you need to put the restriction here. Why? Z can be any real number. But x plus 2 cannot be equal to 0. So x cannot be equal to negative 2. Okay. So this is your domain. And last one, you need to find the range. So range is when you consider the dependent variable f, x, y, z. Okay. So what happened to f, x, y, z value when you substitute all the domains here in this f, x, y, z? Okay. So f, x, y, z can be any number. You can put any number here. You can put any number here except for negative 2. So the total of this one, this function is any real number. It can be any real number. Okay. The second example for f x y z equal to z square plus sine x y. Find f one pi over two negative two, f zero one two, domain and the range again. Okay. So for this one, you need to substitute x equal to 1, y equal to pi over 2, and z equal to minus 2. So, minus 2 square plus sine 1 pi over 2. Okay? Okay, remember, whenever you want to find this value for sine, involve the pi or pi over 2 or pi over 4. Make sure your most in Radian. Okay, change your mode. So, see okay, this one. Okay. And then, press 2 for radian. Radian. Okay. If you do this using degree, you will get the wrong answer. Okay. For, right. Using the radian, you will get negative 2 square plus sine pi over 2 is equal to 5. But, if you do this using the degree mode the answer you get is 4.0274 which is the wrong answer so make sure if you use if you want to find the value for sine cos or time make sure you your calculator mode is in radian okay so this is 5 then for f 0 1 2 this is equal to 2 square plus sine 0 multiply by 1. Okay. Sine 0 equal to 0. 2 square is 4. So the answer is 4. And then for the domain, domain F. Okay. For X, Y and Z. Okay. So X, Y, Z can be any real number. Why? Because there is no restriction for Z square and there is no restriction for sine X, Y. So remember, that the restriction that you have only three restriction. The first restriction is for loan. Second one is for the fraction, and the third one is for the square roots. You just only have three restriction for domain. Okay, no restriction for sine, cos. Okay, and then for the range, range f. So for the range, we look for the value for f, x, y. Z. Okay, so for this one, what is the value for f, x, y, and z when you substitute the domain? Okay, for this one, you need to consider the graph for sine. Okay, the graph for sine is this one. Since you have sine 0 equal to 0, you have this one. Right? So this is 1, this is minus 1. So the range here will always 
in between negative 1 to 1. Okay? The range for sine. This is for sine t. Sine t or sine any value. X, y. It can be sine x, y. Okay? So, for sine x, y, here, the value is from negative 1 to 1. But you have positive value here, z square. So, z square plus with this range, you will have more than negative 1. It cannot be less than negative 1, the range, the value for fx, y, z. Okay? And for the last sub subtopic for this 1.1, 1 .1, okay, uh, level surface of three variables functions. In space, the points where a function of three variables has a constant value, fx, y, z equal to k, make a surface in the function's domain. Okay, definition 1.4. Definition for the label surface of W is the set of points X, Y, Z where W equal to F, X, Y, Z equal to K and K is a constant value. Okay, if the values are set as K1, K2 and K3, three level surfaces will be obtained and presented by S1, S2 and S3. Okay, each surface is the same is the same shape of each other okay we see the repeated uh, shape in the graph okay we will see this in our next example okay in the first example describe the level surfaces of fx y z equal to x square plus y square plus z square equal to sorry x square plus y square plus z square for k equal to 0 4 and 9 okay so again, W is equal to F, X, Y, Z equal to K. So we have here X square plus Y square plus Z square equal to K. Okay, so for K equal to 0, we have X square plus Y square plus Z square equal to 0. And then we have for k equal to 1, sorry, k equal to 4, we have x square plus y square plus z square equal to 4. And for k equal to 9, this is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 9. And this is basically the general formula for when you have x square plus y square plus z square equal to r square. It is a general formula for spheric sphere, for sphere with radius r. Okay, so how to sketch the level surface? Okay, so you have in 3D, you have this z here, you have y here, and you have x here. Okay, so sphere, what is sphere with uh, 4? So you have this one. Okay, we, okay, this is a 3D. So you have here. So basically, this is the K1 for the K1. K1 is equal to. No, sorry, for K equal to 0, we, no, we don't have any for K equal to 0. So this is for K equal to 4. And then with K equal to 9, we have this one. Okay, this is 3D. So you have this one. So this is for K9. For K9, you have X square plus Y square plus Z square equal to 9. And for K4, you have X square plus Y square plus Z square equal to 4. So this is the level surface. Surface of Z, sorry, of F, X, Y, Z equal to X square plus Y square plus Z square equal to K. Okay. So if we see here, it says that each surface is the same shape of each other. So that's why you have these two, the same shape of sphere here, okay?
So this is our last example for this video. Okay, given a function w equal to f x y z equal to z equal minus square root of x square plus y square. Sketch the level surface of f for k equal to minus 1, 0 and 1. So again, this is equal to k. Substitute into our case, our example, we have z minus x square plus y square equal to k. So the z becomes k plus x square plus y square. Hmm? Then substitute the k value. k equal to minus 1, k equal to 0 and k equal to 1. So this is z equal to x squared plus y squared minus 1. And this is z equal to x squared plus y squared. And last but not least, we have z equal to x squared plus y squared plus 1. Okay. So we have these three. This is when we write this in general form, we have z equal to x square plus y square minus sorry plus a. So what does it mean? Okay, this means you have the cones, the cones at vertices 0, 0, a. So meaning that this is the cone at vertices. Minus 1 at 0 and vertices at A. Sorry, Z, A, 0, 0, 1. Okay, how to sketch this? So again, we have this Z, Y, and X. Okay, so the, for the first one here, you have a cone at vertices minus 1. Since our A here is minus 1. For K equal to minus 1. So you have here the cone. Okay. So let's say we extend this. So this is minus 1. And then for this one, X equal, sorry, A is equal to 0. So this is your second cone. And for the last cone, let's say this is 1 here. So this is your third Okay, you can sketch it better than me, I think. This is just too, I don't know. So this is z equal to x square plus y square plus one. So this is your one. Okay. So this is z equal to x square plus y square. Okay. Plus zero here. And this one is for z equal to x square plus y square minus 1. And this is the level surfaces. On x, y, z plane. Okay. So that's all for this video. We continue with limits and continuity in our next video. Thank you.